So in this tutorial I am going to show you how to synchronize the Sunrise Workbench source code of the KUKA Sunrise Toolbox to your robot controller. So first of all you need a Sunrise Workbench installed on your computer At the same time, you need to install, to download, and unzip the KUKA Sunrise Toolbox repository. So first of all, you have to go to GitHub, once you are in GitHub, you search for KUKA Sunrise Toolbox. and here we are inside the repo so what we have to do is to download the code after downloading the code you have to unzip So open the unzipped folder. So the Sunrise Workbench source code for the KUKA Sunrise toolbox is inside the folder KUKA Sunrise Server Source Code. We'll open this folder. We find several compressed files of the different versions of the KUKA Sunrise toolbox. Now I recommend the users to utilize the latest version which is KST 1.7. You notice that we have two RAR files for KST 1.7. So the idea is if you have a pneumatic flange and you need to use the outputs and the inputs of this pneumatic flange you can use KST 1.7 EWA pneumatic flange code on the other hand if you have any other flange other than the pneumatic flange or if you do not have a flange at all or if you do not care about the inputs and the outputs from the pneumatic flange then you can use the source code KST 1.7 EWA Universal No Flange. So KST 1.7 EWA Universal No Flange works on any KUKA EWA robot, but with the limitation, it doesn't allow you to communicate with the flange. On the other hand, the source code inside KST 1.7 EWA Pneumatic Flange works only on. KUKA EWA robot that has pneumatic flange. So I'm gonna ex extract the source code. Then I'm gonna open the Sunrise Workbench. We have to create a new project. So, Sunrise project. Then, you have to enter the IP of the robot. And then, you can you have to choose create new project offline. Then next. Then you have to give your project a name. You can call it KST. Next, then depending on your robot, if it is the 14 kilograms or the 7 kilograms, you choose one of those two options. Next, then you have to change the type of flange attached to your robot, change one, 
in my case I have touch pneumatic till next till finish and the project is being created so here is the project So right now you have to copy the source code and you have to paste it in a new package. Now you have to name the package it will be R example applications. We go to our project, you have to say new package and PR sample applications, enter, just copy files. You'll notice that we have some errors. Those errors is because the Kuka Sunrise toolbox utilizes the smart servo and the direct servo packages which are by default not added to the project so to add the packages of the smart servo and the direct servo to your project you have double click on the file station setup to cat then you have to go to software now in the software uh, interface in here you have to add direct servo motion extension and the smart servo motion extension afterwards you have to save the project save and apply and you see right now you do not have any errors and all you have to do is to synchronize your project to the robot so you click and synchronize so the idea is I am not connected to the robot because I have to establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the robot and the PC so I have to change the IP of my PC into static IP that is in the range of the IP of the robot so I have explained this in a previous uh, tutorial which is called establishing a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the robot and the PC but I'm going to show it right now here again so go to change adapter option click properties on the Ethernet adapter that is connected to the robot go to properties I'm gonna use an IP which is in the range of the IP of my robot click OK click close right now I have a connection established between the robot and the PC right now I'm gonna synchronize and voila the project is being synchronized all you have to do is to click execute and synchronization, synchronization is going to be done